time guys Ifan back again with another video and today what we'll do is we'll uh, look at how to do a horizontal filter let me explain let's assume the data that we have on the screen here represents the sales figures of a company in various major cities in the US month wise so if you've got New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, Houston, Philadelphia, Phoenix, San Antonio, San Diego, and Dallas. Okay, so if you've got the sales figures for these nine cities for each month for Jan, Feb, March, all the way to December. Now, if you were to filter, apply a filter, if you want to only see, say, for example, the first four cities, you don't want to see the other, other the rest. Uh, all you do is you highlight this row here click on data filter and then you just only select those cities that you want to see and the rest are hidden for you okay now this is if you notice what you're doing is you're filtering it vertically what if you want to filter horizontally meaning what if you only want to see the first three months okay you don't want to see the, 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 the last nine months. You only want to see the first three months. Here, the filter option would not work. Okay. Now, one solution would be to take this table, turn it around by 90 degrees, which is called transposing, and then apply the filter. Okay. Uh, the way you would do that is you highlight this, copy, and when you want to paste it, you go to paste special values and then you select transpose and what that does it it turns it around let me just show you let's do it so you see how the cities are horizontal here the cities were vertical and the months were horizontal here the months have become vertical here but every time you make a change here you have to repeat this process and so it's, it's not the most uh, most suited, uh, suitable uh, process. So what we will do is we will automate this process. All right. Now, uh, let's see. Let's get started. Here, what we're going to be using is we will use the index uh, function. Is asking for the array. That would be the whole table. And lock it so it doesn't move. And I do a copy paste. And then the next uh, input it needs is a row number, okay? But because we are turning everything around by 90 degrees, rows are gonna become columns and columns are gonna become rows. So when it asks you for the row number, you give it the column number. So, columns, A3, A3. Uh, we'll uh, lock the first, the column of the first uh, argument, and then comma. And uh, now it's asking for the, the column number. Hey, we would just go ahead and give it the, the row number. In this case, what we'll do is we'll uh, lock the first argument completely, and the second part of it, we'll just lock the column and close parenthesis for the index enter okay now the cities were horizontal now cities are going to become i'm oh, sorry i'm sorry the the cities were vertical now the cities are going to become horizontal okay so i'm just going to drag this formula across for nine to nine cities one two three four five six seven eight nine so you've got the nine cities going across. And uh, we've got the 12 months, so let's just copy this, drag this down. Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay. So now let's see if it actually did what we wanted it to do. Los Angeles, uh, sorry, New York was January was 38, February was 75, March was 28. New York, January is 38, February is 75, March 28. So it, it took this data and turned it around by 90 degrees. 
Okay, so we've got this part done. I'm just going to go ahead and rename this sheet transposed. All right, now what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go ahead and apply a filter on it. I'm not applying a filter. I'm going to apply a pivot table. here and I'm going to rename this sheet as pivot okay and I'm going to uh, drag all these down here in the rows for the uh, for the pivot table See this minus sign here? If you click on it, it, you can get this row to collapse. We don't need that, so I'm just gonna uncheck this from the uh, from the options. I don't need this uh, field list anymore. Now these are the subtotals. I don't want the subtotals showing up. So click on design, subtotals, do not show subtotals, okay? I'm getting the grand total here. I don't need the grand total, okay? So here you have the uh, the pivot table. Now what I'm going to do is I'm the, the filtering is going to be done in the pivot table. Just a, just a uh, you know a tip. Now I'm going to retranspose this again so I can get this data back in this format. So if I go here and index now. This is my array. Now it's asking for a row, but we will be giving it the columns. And I'm going to be locking the first, the column on the first argument. And now it's asking for the columns, and but I'll be giving it the rows. And I'll lock the first one completely and just the column portion of it. In the second argument, hit enter. Okay. Now what's gonna happen is months just in the as in the original uh, data, months are going to be going across. So I'm gonna call this oops. Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, uh, hang on a second. We forgot to lock this. Now lock it. Okay, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cities. So you've got that original data back again in the, in the same format. Okay. Now let's just check New York 387528. 387528. Philadelphia 35564. Philadelphia 35564. So you've got this table back in the original format. Now, when you want to do a horizontal filtering, you go into pivot, okay? And by horizontal filtering, what you mean is you select which months you want to display and which months you do not want to display. So the months that you do not want to display, you just uncheck. So let's assume we only want to see the first three months. Pivot table refreshes. Going to transpose again, and only March is showing up. This is all showing at zero. Okay, so you were able to filter horizontally. Now, just to clean this uh, table up a bit, see these zeros here? They are showing up because it's grabbing this data from here. Okay, and one way to do that is you can set, uh, you can just put an if statement if. 
uh, wherever it is getting the data from. If it's blank, then you know, don't put a zero, just put a blank. Uh, the other way to do that would be under the just show you. Uh, if columns, this would be a four. is less than equal to count a count count a means number of cells in range that is not black okay and that would be this whole column into come on back okay now what we're going to do is for the pivot part here what we need to do we need to lock this we, we are not going to be locking this guy here because that it has to check for each and now if you just drag it across and fill it in now you see you've got the cities and the months only th three months we had filled it for three months and only three months are showing uh, if we were to say for example do six months the pivot refreshes and we have we can only see the first six months if you want uh, you know alternate months maybe there you go Jan you skip the skip February March skip April May skip, uh, skip June and then July and there you have it what you're doing is you're filtering it horizontally all right thank you very much uh, i hope you like this video if you did like this video please kindly give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see more videos like this please subscribe thank you